Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Washington Redskins franchise here on Madden 20. We are back with another action-packed episode for you today, so make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, want to see more Madden 20 content, as well as much other franchise content here on the channel, and we could build a winner together in whatever damn city we are in. Currently, we are in Washington with the Redskins, and they have come a long way in this series. They have one of the best defenses in the National Football League right now, and today they're going to go up against the New York Jets and Sam Darnold. He's thrown for over 3,000 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 11 picks. And he is going to start out with the ball a second and 10 from his own 25. He's going to hit Jake Sternberger for 25 yards straight to midfield and the Jets on the move to start this game. That is good for them, but where's that defense we've been seeing the last couple of years? Well, here it is. Very nice knockdown for uh, Zimmerman who gets that to fall and we get the ball back. There's a face mask on the New York Jets and that is going to go against them an extra 15 yards thanks to C.J. Mosley. Thank you very much. We'll take that in a second and one. Here goes John Greer, the spellback. He's going to go left side, pick up a bunch of yards and a easy first down. So now on first and 10, Morris looks up the middle. He gets Ashley Heyman, the superstar receiver for a 14-yard pickup. That'll leave a third and 11 here later on from the 35-yard line. And Isaac Spicer, the rookie, able to do a really nice job picking up a first down there on another crossing route across the field. And the Redskins would set themselves up at the 8 with a second and 2. And Jeffrey Moore trying to get into the end zone, but he would pick up a first down. We wouldn't be able to get it into the end zone. And a field goal good by Big Nuts Will Lutz. So now here's Darnold, left side. That is going to be complete, and he's got a first down. So now the Jets on the move here. Second and 14, there's the toss. And Le'Veon Bell is going to get face masked by our defense. So our defense that has been so good all year long, really making some mistakes a little bit early on here as there's an easy face mask. Now play fake for Darnold on a second and 10. He's going to throw. That's complete. And the Jets actually moving the football a little bit. It's a third and 10 here from the 49, and that is incomplete. Darnold trying to make that throw, and he would have had it if his receiver could have hang on to the football. Here's Jeffrey Moore on second and seven, trying to pick up the first down, and he would. So the Redskins moving the football here in the first quarter, but it's a 3-0 score. Tight game so far. Jeffrey Moore, another nice pickup on the ground. Definitely, obviously, a focal point for this offense. And he continues to be. Now a third and 11, so throwing is Morris. And that is going to be a P.I. against the Jet defense. So for both defenses, some bad penalties. That one, again, thank you, C.J. Mosley. You've been helping us out all game. Now first and 10, Morris looking. He might have had a man there, but look at the yeet. Cannon on Morris to Ashley Heyman in the back of the end zone, and these fans going wild because of it. 750 yards for Heyman so far on the season. There's Zimmerman making the tackle, but not before Robbie Anderson could get a first down. He's over 5,000 career yards. Good for Robbie. Here's a throw short. There's Sternberger, and Sternberger to the 35 as the Jets continue to be on the move here, looking for points in the second quarter. Now a throw right side, and Robbie Anderson couldn't come down with that one. He's not really a physical type. So the Jets would settle for a field goal attempt, which would be short. So we retain a 10-0 lead, and here's Jeffrey Moore splitting the defense to the 44-yard line. 11 runs for 53 for him early on. So here's Tyler Morris. He's looking for another man. He's got Isaac Spicer. Spicer takes a nasty hit from Jamal Adams, but he'll hold on. Here's Morris looking, looking for a man. He's going to roll to his right, and he's got the corner of the end zone for the rushing touchdown. Tyler Morris can do it all with his arm, with his legs. It doesn't matter. That man puts the ball in the end zone. It's 17-0 Redskins now. Here goes Le'Veon Bell, and Bell going to get brought down, but not before a first down gain of 11 yards. So first and 10 for the New York Jets. Second and eight, Darnold takes the snap. 
He's in the pocket, but he's going to get drilled by Donovan Stallings with a sack. And that is not going to help the Jets at all. It's going to bring up a third and 13, as a matter of fact, for a play fake, throwing deep. And Robbie Anderson, again, not, not liking the physical play here. He's not able to get it done. So here goes Jeffrey Moore, left side. That's going to be a first down pickup, knocked out of bounds at the 47. And Jeffrey Moore playing really well today. So is his spellback, John Greer, who is going to fumble after a huge hit from Jamal Adams, picked up by Leonard Williams, and the Jets will get possession back. Second fumble of the day for Greer. So now a third and nine. Darnold going to throw underneath to Le'Veon. Le'Veon will get brought down by the shore tackler, Kerry Clark. And it'll be fourth and five. They would have to punt it away. So now Redskins with it back. Here goes Jeffrey Moore to the left side. He will finally get brought down into the third level. 15 runs for 100 yards. He's over 100 yards in the first half. And he would take that well over 100 yards here with this run as he gets away from Jamal Adams and steps out of bounds. 120 now. Just continues to rack up the totals in this game. Here goes Moore again. Another big run for him all the way to the 35-yard line. So 17 nothing, and the Redskins looking for more here as the half coming to a close. Morris almost sacked and gets it away to Isaac Spicer for the touchdown. And the Redskins go up 24 to nothing. And that is how we will go into the half. They are absolutely obliterating the New York Jets. And you can see the defense doing a pretty good job stopping the run today. It's the pass that they haven't done well against. We'll be back after this. Back now here at the halftime report and taking a look at the Cowboys taking on the New England Patriots. They're up 21-0 at the end of the first half. So a couple blowouts by this NFC East against the A, I mean against the AFC East. And there's Jamal Adams on the first play coming out of the gate is gonna get a fumble off of Jeffrey Moore. So the Jets will take over. Here's Darnold, he's going to throw, he's got Sternberger, he's been the sure-handed tight end all day, and he continues to be that. So now second and 11, they're going to play fake to Le'Veon, Darnold almost in, is almost sacked, but he's going to be intercepted by Dave Zimmerman. Zimmerman, who has the rookie record with 13 interceptions last season, comes into this year, and I think he's close to 8. So Zimmerman, definitely one of the ball hawks in this league. Here's Tyler Morris. He's got time, and time is dangerous with Tyler Morris. He finds his man Daquan Bodden over at the right sideline for a completion. Now second and 11. Morris trying to do the screen, and he is going to fumble the ball. Picked up, and this is going to be taken all the way back by Marcus May for a touchdown. The New York Jets get on the board, and it is Marcus May who does it. So they're going to go for two here in the third. They're going to go with a screen and not going to get in the end zone denied by Dave Zimmerman. Here's a second and inches on the Redskins' next possession. And look at this. Wide open is Isaac Spicer. And he will be inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Now Morris, easy touchdown throw to Joseph Vick. And that is just how quickly this Washington offense can score now. They are just way better than they were before. So now 31 to six, here goes Jeffrey Moore. Nice spin move and a broken tackle and trying to stiff arm to pick up more yards. Wonderful play by Jeffrey Moore and that's why the fans love him. Here's John Greer though, he can do well as well. Picking up 52 yards today. He did fumble the ball twice however. Here's Jeffrey Moore, he's gonna fumble the ball for the second time today. Picked up by the New York Jets, and it's just all over the place for this Washington offense. Two fumbles for Moore, two fumbles for Greer. Running backs just not holding on to it. They're getting good yards on the ground, though. Here's a wide-open man across the middle for Sam Darnold, and he will end up picking up some yards to the 22-yard line. So now second and 10, another play up the middle. First down, Jets. They are moving the ball here. Into the end zone, tipped. And nearly inter intercepted, nearly caught for a touchdown. But the Jets are going to go for it on fourth and goal. And throwing and intercepted by Trey Winborn. Which is actually a really good interception because it actually gains yards for his team. If had it been incomplete, they would have gotten it at like the eight. 
So here's Tyler Morris picking up the offense, continuing, and there is a first down play. So now second and one. Tyler Morris going to throw this one. He's got Mason Sams, who has quite a few steps on his man all the way inside the 20 to the 17-yard line. Mason Sams setting up a touchdown opportunity here. And here's John Greer. He's got some room. Nice juke move. He fumbles the ball into the end zone, and it's picked up by Washington. Touchdown, Redskins. And that'll make it 38-6. So now here, Darnold looking. He's looking for somebody. This is going to be a coverage sack, and it is Jonathan Allen who will pick it up ultimately. They'll credit him with a half a sack. So here's third and 16 for Darnold now. He's going to throw underneath. He's got Le'Veon Bell, but that is nowhere near a first down pickup in this fourth quarter. So will they go for it on fourth down? No, they don't. They actually end up punting it, and the Redskins will take over. So here's a first down for Jeffrey Moore. 218 yards to this point, but here goes John Greer. He's also doing a tremendous job. 77 yards to this point for him. Like I said, both running backs are just eating yardage, but uh, they need to protect the football. And there's the throw by Morris under pressure. One of the few bad throws made by Tyler Morris today is because of pressure. And the same thing here, Darnold is under pressure and he will be picked off by Keon Wild. Setting up this easy second and goal and Tyler Morris will find Isaac Spicer in the back of the end zone for some more Redskin points. Now 45 to six, here's Darnold. He's got an open Robbie Anderson for a first down. And the Jets really need to pick up yardage after yardage here, third and two. Darnold takes the snap, he looks, he's got an open man, it's Le'Veon Bell, that'll be a first down, but time's a ticking and the Jets are really just looking for respect here, as now we are just over the minute left mark, and there's the throw left side, that's intercepted, Dave Zimmerman, and he's got nothing but green pastures in front of him, Dave Zimmerman could go all the way, and he will, passing Le'Veon Bell for the touchdown. 88-yard interception return, and that is the defense that we have been scoring with all season. Here's the Jets' last play of the game. Kerry Clark misses a tackle. Landon Collins can't bring him down, and that'll end up being a touchdown on the final play of the game for the New York Jets. First career touchdown reception. Somebody was hungry for it, and it would end the game 52-13 to in favor of the Redskins over 500 yards on offense, almost 600 if we're being completely honest with you. And the Washington Redskins, three weeks in a row of just dominating their opponents. You can see Tyler Morris, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Jeffrey Moore, 234 yards with 77 added from John Greer. Isaac Spicer, 106 and two touchdowns. He played extremely well. Touchdowns from Joseph Vick as well. Looking at the line, they did a pretty good job. Tackles from Bo Tatum, 11 tackles, two TFLs for him. And the sack side, Stallings, Payne and Allen split a sack. Dave Zimmerman with two picks, Keon Wild with a pick. Just absolutely great defensive play. The Jets played pretty well defensively, forcing turnovers, but the yardage that they gave up between the 20s ultimately ended up hurting them hugely. So now we move into the second game of this episode. The San Francisco 49ers will host us in this one. We are wearing the all-white clean unis, and we intend to keep them that way, even against this stout San Francisco 49er defense. We'll see what happens in this one as we are going to face Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. Kyle Juszczyk, the captain, getting his crowd fired up before this game. And we'll see if we can disappoint them. As we take a current look at the playoff picture, we are a game above the Philadelphia Eagles for the one seed in the NFC, but our division is the toughest in the conference. Jimmy Garoppolo, 2,700 yards, 21 touchdowns, and only six interceptions on the season. So he hasn't been throwing a ton of touchdowns, but his interception ratio is very good. So Joseph Vick going to take the punt early on automatically to the San Francisco 49, and that is where we let Jeffrey Moore carry the rock as he is going to get us a first down with an 11-yard pickup. 
So now Tyler Morris making some calls at the line on a first and 10 here, and he's going to find his man Daquan Bottom. That is going to pick up a first down inside the 10 to the 7. So here we are on our first drive. We are already looking for points, and Jeffrey Moore going to try to beat the defense. No, he jukes inside and takes the hit into the end zone. Jeffrey Moore can score in a multitude of ways, and he just showed you how he could right there as he scores the first touchdown of this one. 7 nothing. Now the throw by Garoppolo is intercepted, and it's Anthony Buchanan, and he will score for a pick six. The Washington Redskins take a 14-0 lead super early in this game. And now the Niners looking to answer. So here's Garoppolo. He turns around. He throws. There's nobody there, but it's going to be a defensive pass interference call as Anthony Buchanan just tackled the man. So that is going to be an interference. He scored a touchdown, but he's going to lead to a touchdown here as the screen will be a touchdown for the running back. His first career touchdown reception, Bailey, on the 49ers. So now here a play fake for Garoppolo later on in the game. He's going to throw a yeet, and that is going to be intercepted by Landon Collins as he makes an absolutely brilliant play on the football. And that would lead to Tyler Morris here finding his man across the middle in Ashley Heyman. He would pick up some yards to the 30-yard line. And look, the Redskins looking to score again. And they easily will. Daquan Bodden wide open in the end zone. There was a guy there, but he really had no chance against Daquan Bodden. It is 21-7 in this thing. And Bodden just having a blast. Everybody on this Redskins team has been having a blast the last few weeks. Here goes Joseph Vick as he is into 49er territory. Two very good returns for him on punts today. Just had to show them. So here's first and 10 for Jeffrey Moore. He takes it to the outside and nobody home. You're not going to catch him. But he did step out of bounds by accident. So 10 runs for 80 yards. And now on second and goal, Tyler Morris gets it away before he's sacked to Isaac Spicer in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. And they're up 28-7 to now. Absolutely incredible performance so far by this Redskin offense. 28-7, to and now their defense trying to hold back San Francisco as the 49ers are playing pretty good offense themselves today. Jimmy Garoppolo has done a very nice job and they will settle for a field goal on that drive. So the Redskins coming down on a third and 17. The throw to the end zone, and Spicer just couldn't make the play on the ball. It was a little bit behind him. They'd settle for a field goal. It's 31-10. Here's a throw left side. Another pass interference call. This one's going to be called on Anthony Buchanan. Oh, Dave Zimmerman, I'm sorry, with the call there. And that would lead to a San Francisco field goal, making it 31-13 as we go into halftime. And as we take a look at the halftime stats, the Redskins, a very balanced offense today. San Francisco killing us with the pass. We'll be back after this. And we're back, taking a look at the report. The Eagles are actually losing a game to the Seahawks, 21-14. We're hoping the Seahawks can hold on in that one and help us to secure a division title in the future. Here goes John Greer down the left sideline. No one's going to get there. Colbert giving chase, but he's got no chance. Touchdown, Redskins, on Greer's fifth run of over 20 yards. This backfield is amazing. Second and nine, there's a throw, and Keon Wild with the awareness. He's going to intercept this thing. He's into the open field. He could score here, and another pick six against Jimmy Garoppolo today is just going to cause a rout, as if it wasn't already. It's 45-13. Jimmy Garoppolo, though, has led his team downfield here, and look at this, into the open field. Easy touchdown for the San Francisco 49ers, and they will put up 20. Interesting. Not that many teams have put up 20 against this Redskin defense in the past few weeks, but the 49ers just did. Here's a 45-20 game and trying to make a throw that maybe he shouldn't. A little bit of a Brett Favre throw. That's going to be intercepted by Quan Alexander, who is just showboating down 25 points. And Dave Zimmerman doesn't showboat. He just goes to work as he is able to make the interception there. His 20th career pick. That means he's had seven so far this season. So here's Tyler Morris. 
And he's going to throw underneath. That is going to be complete. Ashley Heyman will sneak into the end zone for another touchdown. And now the Redskins are just confirmed pouring it on. It's 52 to 20. So here goes Jeffrey Moore. Jeffrey Moore will pick up the first down, and then he gets loose. He gets loose, and he will just be brought down by his tippy toes. 184 yards so far for him. Now on a second and goal, Morris is looking, looking. He doesn't see anything he likes. He's going to run for it, and he's going to dive into the end zone for a touchdown. That is going to be the Redskins scoring a touchdown. It's going to be 59-20 to as this game is nearing its end as the 49ers going to throw here another interception for Dave Zimmerman he has been absolutely incredible in these two games here today that is another pick his second one here today and now Jeffrey Moore going to run and into the open field just incredible blocking if you give Jeffrey Moore the blocking he needs he's going to score and that would end this thing 66 to 20 the Redskins with just a ton of rushing yards, 357 rushing yards, five takeaways. The 49er offense did pretty well, but they gave away the ball five times, and you cannot afford to do that against this Redskin team. It's Tyler Morris, 19 to 30 for 216, three touchdowns and a pick. Jimmy Garoppolo threw five picks in this thing. Just was not his best game of his career, that's for sure. 28 carries for 246 and two touchdowns for Jeffrey Moore. John Greer added seven carries for 105 and a touchdown. And Tyler Morris ran a touchdown in. Heyman with 101 and a touchdown today. Very important player on our offense. Isaac Spicer just made the one catch for four yards. It was a touchdown, though. Bo Tatum, 11 tackles, a TFL, sacks for Payne, Stallings, and Allen. We got interceptions, two from Zimmerman, one from Collins, one from Buchanan. A lot of pick sixes in this game. Just a great, great play from this defense. Keon Wild and Anthony Buchanan both with pick sixes. Wild, Moore, Morris, Bishop, Brackens, Kerry Clark, Kevin Bach. These guys all getting upgrade points. Jacoby, Triplett, Blake Martino, Cade Logan, DJ Holmes. And we are going to have to take on the Dallas Cowboys next week. This is going to be a huge game. They are 9-5. and five. This could de determine whether we win this division. Keon Wild is going to get a chance to get himself to X-Factor. If we can do that for him, we will have three X-Factor corners. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And if you are, I want you to hit that like button. I want you to tell me in the comments section. I want you to subscribe if this is the first time you are ever seeing a FG video. Beautiful.